Hey guys, I recently picked up some quad equipment in the recent Emax sale. One of the things I picked up was a Femto F3 board. Now, one thing that I noticed about the board is it doesn't have an OSD, so today we're going to be installing a minimum OSD onto the Femto F3. So it's a pretty straightforward process. You just need to solder up the TX and RX along with the power to the board and then video in from the cam and then video out to the VTX. I have an example diagram in the top left showing what wires go to what. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, the minimum OSD is powered by 5 volt, so you need to find a 5 volt pin on your flight control board. The Femto F3 UART2 has 5 volt right next to the TX and RX, so it's a pretty easy job to solder up. Now in terms of finishing setting up, one thing I had to do is flash new firmware to the minimum OSD because it came with version 1.2 but needed 1.9 and it needed to be configured for beta flight. It's pretty easy to do with the configurator. Uh, there's a lot of different settings in here so you can configure your board, although you do need to pay for the software if you want to change the actual OSD settings. But to flash the firmware, you just go up to flash, select the configuration you want, select the board you're flashing to and then set it to beta flight if you're using beta flight now flashing is free you don't need to get the paid version of the software however you will have a lot of stuff on your screen if you don't get the paid version to disable some of the elements here's everything after i got the osd in it's a little bit cramped but i'm going to end up replacing this camera i got it as part of the emac sale too but i'm not very happy with it So here's some flight footage before I got the OSD installed. Uh, at this point I had some issues with the camera uh, power. It had a lot of noise in it and I also didn't have a uh, capacitor on the battery leads which I think caused some issues. And here's some flight footage from after installing the OSD. I ended up changing the power settings going to the camera too and ended up cleaning up the feed. Although I started noticing a lot more the white flashes coming from the video feed. I'm not sure what that's from. It wasn't very noticeable while flying but it shows up a lot in the actual recording. So I think I'm going to end up replacing the VTX and the camera. Hopefully it ends up being a better flight experience after that. This camera has pretty bad exposure settings and things become very difficult to see sometimes.
all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you have good luck installing an external OSD if you decide to do that on your board. Although honestly, it's just easier to get a flight controller that has a built-in OSD.